I'm Camila and this is the M3 Radio Independent News. Sigmund Freud said it's all about sex and death, so here is a dose of dying. In Cameroon, 114 people perished in a plane crash, hundreds died in Iraq, thousands in Darfur, while millions of bees buzz no more because of cell phones. On the bright side, LA police fired into a demonstrating crowd of immigrants that included children, and no one died. Now, shall we get on with the sex? You want happy ending? So, get your eyes off my tits and read my lips. Last week, I told you about the DC madam in the White House escort scandal. She pinned a deal with prosecutors to deftly deal details of her former client's list. Shall we say to satisfy some DA dude's desire for dirt? You know how it works in this wicked world. It's always tit for tat. Maybe after a night in Paris he dropped the charges, but I doubt it. Paris Hilton is about to become another bad girl behind bars. Judge Michael Sawyer hit the heiress with the jail centers for punking parole. She's facing 45 days of no blackberries, paparazzi or cell phones. But I'm sure P-Girl will be binding with lots of new BFFs in the house. Ouch! That was like so unfair! Oh. Paris? Ever want to hire a nappy-headed hoe? Well, Don Imus needs a job. The recently fired one, Jerry Krulshak Jack, was canned after referring to a New Jersey woman basketball team as a nappy-headed hose. Now he may sue his former employer for wrongful dismissal, claiming they knew he was bad to the bone when they bought his package. This case of who screwed whom may go to court. Here is a magnificent mashup with death and sex. President Bush vetoed a funding bill for the troops he sent to Iraq. More of them died this week. He also promises to veto a bill on abortion rights. This punishes women who have sex. While we appreciate the don't throw the babies out with the bathwater thinking, why aren't they worried about the mothers circling the drain? Ready for some sex and violence? President Bush, true for dare. Define exactly what you are winning in Iraq or bring the troops home now. True for dare. History proved outlawing abortion stops abortion about as well as outlawing drugs stop drugs use. I dare you to explain why lawmakers' time and our tax dollars are spent on laws that don't work and go against the will of the people. A former New Jersey governor who left office after coming out of the closet has just announced he's joined a seminary and perhaps will become a priest. While a same-sex extramarital affair scuttled his own marriage, I pray our premier priest won't pursue the pedophile path by becoming another padre working the program No Child Behind Left. Heaven help us. While I admit that we had some really hard times together. I need to tell you, even though we might love each other, we have to break it off. But you should know this, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready for anything as serious as a five-minute relationship. So this is really not goodbye, it's only trzymajcie się. Okay, one last kiss, don't look back. Just tune in next week. I'm Camila and I just gave you the M3 Radio Independent News.